Chair, yan po yung voluntary. Kayo na po ang uh, maghusga, Mr. Chair, kung voluntary. The, the resource speaker is incompetent to answer that. The right office to who will... Nakala ko ba, continuing uh, objection ka na lang? That's why. I am again... Do you want to, to proceed? No, Mr. Chair. Uh, my, my point, Mr. Chair, is that... Please address the chair. Please address the chair. Do not uh, directly engage each other. You have the floor, D.S. Uh, Marcoleta. Slide one, please. Come sec. Please play side one. Play. Support. Hindi, yan, yan, play. Support. No. Volume. So Sa no? So, wala sila giabo, wala sila gipapahawa, gihulat. Under our expropriation law, no, which is Kining uh, Republic Act 10752, no, this is an act facilitating the acquisition of road right of way, site, or location for national government infrastructure projects. No, kining niya, this is a national infrastructure project because projecto man kanisa national government ang pondo na asagaa nga kibutan sa DPWH agency. No, it's a multi-purpose building to be used for housing units na ako diha ang covered court facilities of a community. Covered court, barangay health center, and other facilities nagikinhanglan sa mga katawan in that community. And in this provision of uh, RIT 752, Section 6, Guidelines for Expropriation Proceedings, no? um, nagibutang dire na whenever it is necessary to acquire... Okay, Mr. Chair. My point there is that the Aswaminal already admitted that the expropriation law, the controlling law, is Republic Act 10752. My question to the city administrator. In filing the complaint for expropriation, and conscious of the fact that the controlling law is Republic Act 10752, did the city government of Osamis went through the office of the Solicitor General or the OGCC in Filing that complaint. Please respond, uh, yes, yes. city administrator. Uh, we have not yet, Your Honor. Not yet. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, not yet. But they already expropriated the land. As Mr. a matter of fact, Mr. Chair, may I interject because my name was mentioned? Mr. Chair, yeah. on that I am trying to explain. This, uh, Mr. If this Waminal keeps on interrupting this representation. The, this Waminal, uh, the, the committee is uh, now in uh, only the section two, uh, rule two, section four. So let's give him a little latitude, please, because uh, we're not yet in the converted into an uh, inquiry. So let him, let him, he has the floor, let him proceed uninterrupted. Mr. Chair, it is my right as member of the committee and the yes. House to rise any time when your name has been mentioned in any inquiry by anybody I, for you to rise on the personal yeah, yes, and I, collective privilege. We respect and that. To but, in, uh, in this matter, to injure, uh, interject and uh, clarify uh, the statement which I made, Mr. Chair. And I think it is within the role, Mr. Chair, and within my right to Mr. Interview, Chair, Mr. Chair, I do not understand the interruption being made by DS Waminal. Actually, he's referring to the video to to the mention to the city administrator to take as reference only. He is using that only as a reference yeah, to the question 
propounded on the city administrator, sir? Yeah, on the basis of the question, Mr. Chair, he was using my statement as an evidence. So that's why I should be made to try to make a clarification. You, you will be... Depends. Because it yeah depends. yeah you will be given all the time after no. after the ano after he finishes his well, yeah, yeah. no on that particular point, well, he's not Mr. challenging your your person I never heard him challenge your person now on this no. here on the floor here on the hearing he is using he's mentioning my name and he is using my name as an evidence of his interpolation. Can you cite, or, when did you see your name here? Here, yeah, this, uh, this particular instance? Yeah, uh, when he asked a question to the city administrator, when he said that the Swaminal has already admitted that the expropriation law is uh, you, under- You just admitted. Of, Hello, uh, did that, you not admit? DS Marcoleta, please. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, address the chair. The DS DS nominal is out of order. He just saw himself. He admitted. He invoked Republic Act 10752. What is wrong in that? There's nothing wrong. He admitted. It's only a premise. That's why I'm asking the city administrator if they went through the office of the OGCC or the Solicitor General, because that please, is what please, is supposed please, to be please, the provision uh, of law. Please avoid mentioning the name of the DS Ominal in your, uh, you know, interpolations. Be because he, 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 is, he is interrupting me, Mr. Chair. I, I am not. I have no business mentioning his yeah, name. Please, his please. name has nothing to do with this. Yes, he, okay. He, he presented my... <laughs> My, pre, uh, my press conference, Mr. Chair, so... Uh, as, a, as a reference think, material. Yeah, that's why I should be... Uh, he's referring... Yeah, that's why I should... That's why I should be allowed Hello, uh, to interject. Uh, I think it, the, the video is self-explanatory. If we debate the video, a two-minute video with a 10-minute debate, debate, we will not go to what we are uh, no, anyway, fighting Mr. out Chair, here. I yield, but I am just... Uh, uh, I I am just. Uh, I ordered that uh, DS uh, Marcoleta avoid mentioning the name of uh, DS Ominal just to propound questions on the resource persons. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank anyway, you. Thank you. The city administrator, uh, the city administrator already answered that they did not yet went through the office of either the OGCC or the Solicitor General. And then in his last answer, Mr. Chair, he said that the residents voluntarily vacated the residence. May I ask the ComSec to please uh, show slides two, three, and four. Technical service, please play slides two, three, and four. Mr. Chair, yan po yung voluntary. Kayo na po ang uh, magusga, Mr. Chair, kung voluntary yun. City Administrator, the direct of possession issued by the court miraculously turned into a title and covered all those, all those lots. 
in the name of the city government? Uh, may, may, may I... Naging titulo na ba yun? Naging titulo na nung magkaroon ng rita possession? Naging titulo at lahat nung inexpropriate ninyong lupa napunta na sa pangalan ng Usami City? If if uh, if your if your honor please. No no no. Yes uh, or no. No magkikyo ng rita possession na convert na into a title pagkatapos lahat ng mga lupa na yun napunta na sa pangalan ng city administrator ng city government. Yes or no? No your honor. Okay, no. Granting for argument that the action taken by the court is correct. Is possession synonymous to ownership? I know you are a lawyer. In effect, is possession honor, synonymous to ownership? In effect, your honor, for expropriation, yes. For purposes of expropriation. May I ask the opinion of the representative from the OCA? Supreme Court. Good morning, Your Honors. Uh, with respect to that uh, question, usually when a writ of possession is uh, issued, uh, possession over the property is being given to the one who's expropriating it. But in so far as title or ownership in the meantime, that is not necessarily, uh, it doesn't necessarily follow because they have to determine yet what is the yes. uh, compensation, the just compensation, yes. final just compensation that. Uh, that the uh, property owner uh, is uh, entitled to, Your Honor. Thank you. I think that is very clear. Hindi naman naging titulo ka agad yun eh. Pagkatapos, Mr. Chair, tinayunan ka agad yung building. So it is still a private land. As a matter of fact, the writ of possession is now being questioned. City Administrator. Mr. Is, Chair, could I ask for our... Who uh, is the contractor of the first Mr. building? One minute suspension of the role. Can I request for a one-minute suspension of the roll? One-minute suspension. Uh, uh, Session resume. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, may I manifest my continuing objection for the record on the manner how the author is presenting or adjudicating evidence on support with his allegation? Because as earlier stated, the persons invited, the government officials, are resource speakers. They are not witness. But the way how it is being done now, as if they are witness or adverse party of the case, which we have not yet determined who are the adverse party, because it is not yet determined who are the officers and employees who committed the alleged malpeasance, mispeasance. I, I already enumerated the... Yes, I'm the, just putting it on record. Yeah, Mr. but Chair. you already told me uh, about an hour ago to enumerate the offices or agencies that are alleged. So I did that already. Yes, Mr. Chair. I'm not... Uh, my, my point is in the way how okay. the witness noted, is... Noted, noted. Uh, ...adducing evidence noted. in support to his allegation. Yes, noted. Noted by the records. Okay. Mr... Uh, Yes, Michael, Thank you, Mr. Him. Chair. City Administrator, in yeah. the demolition of the houses of the lot owners, did the court issue rate of demolitions? Uh, there was no demolition, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> if Your Honor, well, may I be Mr. Chair, okay lang, sige. Who is the contractor of the first building? As far as I, as far as I know, it is Alpha and Omega Construction, Your Honor. What about the second building? Uh, Mr. Chair, the, 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 the resource speaker is incompetent to answer that. The right office to who will... Akala ko ba continuing uh, objection ka na lang? That's why. I am again... Do you want to, to proceed? No, Mr. Chair. Uh, my, my point, Mr. Chair, is that... Please address the chair. Please address the chair. Do not uh, directly engage each other. Mr. Chair, I'm addressing my, 
continuing uh, objection to we will, the chair, We will Mr. suspend chair. this hearing for another date if you cannot control yourselves. I, I'm in a very cool uh, manner, Mr. Chair. Ah. I'm raising only... Yeah. Let's, I, I already ruled that uh, we noted your objection. It's the same objection. No, another point, Mr. Chair. Ah, yes, said, what is that point? The resource speaker where the, with, uh, the author has asked the question is incompetent to answer the right office to answer that is the DPWS because it is on record that it is the DPWS that implements the uh, project, Mr. Chair. Let he, let's give him latitude. Let's uh, propound those objections when we are in inquiry phase, maybe in the next hearing. You are, will be given the right to object in uh, the line of questioning. This is just the, to let the members appreciate the evidence and the allegations we cannot appreciate by having interruptions every five minutes, Mr. Uh, Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker. We are not even uh, in the inquiry phase. We are just, uh, as you requested, we are in the preliminary determination. So let's give him latitude. He cannot, he, how can one write up, uh, paint a painting if every two minutes somebody is throwing mud on the painting? That is how what that what is happening now in analogy. That is what is happening now. So please give him. It's his style. The style is Marcoleta style. When it's ominal style, I will let you speak also, uninterrupted. Okay. Can can we proceed, sir? Yes, Mr. Chair. I'm just raising my position on Noted, the way sir. how we're going on. It's not in accordance. To what I interpret with the roles. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Thank you, thank uh, you. Chair. Salamat po, Mr. Chair. Kala ko kasi, kung mga court administrator, para madali, kilala naman niya kung sino yung contractor. Napakasimpleng tanong lang eh. Oh, sabi niya, in building one, Alpha and Omega. What about the second building, Mr. City Prosecutor, Mr. City Administrator? Kasi alam na po. Second building. It's Mindanao Rock, di ba? Construction, Your Honor. So, di ba? So, what about the cluster housing in Malaubang? That I am not aware, Your Honor, because it okay. is not... Okay. DPWH, hindi ba Alpha and Omega contractor din ito? Um, Mr. Uh, representative of DPWH Legion 10 or District Engineering Office is answer, who is the contractor of the Malauban ano, project. In my record, Mr. Chair, it is still Alpha and Omega construction development. Please confirm, uh, DPWH, anybody in Zoom? They are well represented in Zoom. Please answer of the third project. Yeah, yes, sir. For the Malaubang project, it is uh, Alpha and Omega general contractor and okay. development operation. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Question to Alpha and Omega contractor. I think he's at Zoom. Comsec. Alpha Omega representative, please uh, answer uh, the questions of the. Yes, uh, Marcoleta. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Where is your uh, headquarters located? Uh, we are located in Pasig City, in Manila. In Pasig City? Yes, sir. How many, how many heavy equipment did you transport from Luzon to Summit City? Uh, we rented from Summit City. Ano po yun? We rented. Oh, nagrenta. So, we rented equipment from Summit City. Kanino po kayo nagrenta? Um, uh, sorry, can I can I can I include my project manager because I'm in Manila and he's the one in on site. Yes. Mr. Alex Liam. Good morning, po, Your Honor. Kanino kayo nagrenta ng heavy equipment? Good, good morning, sir. Yes. Uh, good morning. Well, Kanino yes, kayo nagrenta ng heavy equipment in uh, constructing the first building in Osami City? Nagrent po tayo sa DL Enterprises po, Your Honor. Po. Sa DL Enterprises po, sir. 
DL Enterprises. Yes, sir. Yes, your honor. Okay. When did you receive the notice of award? The notice of award was uh, uh, issued on September 10, 2019, Your 10. Honor. 2019, right? Yes, Your Honor. And the notice to proceed was received on September 23, 2019. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, yes Your yes. Honor. We have all these documents. When did you yes, actually sir. commence construction of the first building? May 5, po, Your Honor. Huh? May, May 5, 5. 2020, po, Your Honor. Year? Po, I'm sorry, po. What year? 2020. Okay. The notice to proceed is September 23, 2019, and you actually co commenced construction in May 2020. There is a delay of eight months. Will you explain that? We were issued a suspension order on October 28, 2019, Your Honor. Why? Uh, Kahit of... available ang area, is that correct? Correct, po, Your Honor. Okay, because the city government is yet to file an expropriation complaint in January 18, 2020. You know that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Who is the project engineer? Nusa Building 1. Uh, what is the name? Who will be answering that question for Your Honor? Ano yon? As, sa, is that question for to Alpha Omega po or to the DPW? Who is the project or? engineer ng Building 1 sa Laman? Si Engineer Jed Penyas of DPWH po, Your Honor. Did you get that? Engineer? Jed Penyas po. Jed Penyas. Nakuha mo, Komsek. How did you pray, how, how did you prepare the location before the actual construction of the building took place? Papa, siyempre, prepare mo yung area. Sabi mo, wala pang area. So, Paano mo pin-repair? Paano nagkaroon ng area? It was cleared before we were we were to How mobilize did you clear po. clear the area? Is it not that there are residents and the and the houses and dwellings of the residents were demolished? Point when we went order, when we went there on uh, 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 just another point of order Mr. Chair on Ito the jurisdiction tayo, of Chair. the yeah on this particular issue Ito I would just like tayo. to know Mr. Chair because under our role the jurisdiction of the I am government asking, is only Mr. Chair the contractor I am not officials asking DS Waminal DS Waminal is uh, out of order Mr. Chair the, 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 uh, been, let me let in, me speak uh, DS Waminal and DS Marcoleta the ruling of the chair is like in the um, Sandigan Bayan if there is a case and it involves at, at least one government officials all private respondents are part of that case so they are part of this case because he's the contractor of the project so he can be asked questions that's why mr chair are we now in the states where there is case that is being no 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 no, no it's not a case the year is we're establish we keep on repeating that we give him leeway please give him leeway okay mr. Sir. i'm just raising mr chair as yes, part of the procedure thank you sir why Thank you. private persons are not being yes it's like in the San, uh, when you're there familiar no, with how the sandigan bayan this, and ombudsman accept uh complaints and uh, accept the Mr. charges Chair, if it is already found in the uh, uh informations that a private person has been in conspiracy with public officials yes we're, we're not even in the step one and uh yeah, that we're is trying in the to figure bayan. out the truth that's why I'm asking, Mr. Chair, if we are already on that stage, because there is already now a private person being interpreted. He's an invited uh, guest in the list of invitees that was uh, issued out on uh, invitation on January 25. Okay. Thank you very much, thank Mr. You. Chair. I am just manifesting my uh, thank you. Point Noted. Noted, sir. So, Representative from Alpha Omega. Yes, Your Honor. Please explain to us. How you finally cleared the area? We were issued a notice to resume on May 4, 2020, po, Your Honor. So when you're we went not, back... You, you are not answering the question. How did you finally clear the area to make way for the construction? When we were, we were in the area, po, Your Honor, it was already Ayana, cleared. Po. You demolish the houses of the residents. Is that correct? No, po, Your Honor. Okay. Hindi ba? Hindi po, hindi po. Eh, paano ka nakapagtayo? Eh, mayroong mga bahay doon. 
Pag pag resume namin po your honor, it was already cleared na po your honor. Na clear na lang. Biglang ang mga ang mga bahay biglang nawala, ganun ba 'yon? Hindi you naman po your know, honor. You did not know that the residents were demolished, Mr. Contractor? Did you not know that? Honor. No. Did you not know that? You're supposed to be the contractor. Kaya hindi ka makapag-proceed, kaya karon kang meron kang 8 months na delay dahil nga hindi pa ready yung uh, area. Hindi mo alam kung paano naging ready? We were informed that they de voluntarily demolished po, your honor. You were informed that they were voluntarily demolished. Nakita mo ba? Nakita mo ba yung showing kanina nung uh, nung mga video clips? Hindi Is po site you namin yun, your honor. Did you, did you see the, the video clips? Yes, the Your Honor. Clips? You you call that voluntary? Hindi po sa itamin yon, Your Honor. I know, but that's is is that voluntary? Kasi sinasabi mo voluntary, hindi mo pala alam ngayon, nagsasabi ka voluntary. Okay. Comsec. Will you please show the slides? Para makita natin yung mga equip. Slides 5, 6, 7, and 8. Technical service, please show slides 5, 6, 7, and 8. I want you to... Teka, sandali lang. I want you to see, Mr. Chair, can I stand up? I will just uh, show this. Point, you can point on the screen, uh, this Marcoleta. HSO. This is Henry S. Wominal. Okay. You can see. Mr. Chair, uh, again, I raise a point of personal and collective privilege because the name of this representation has again mentioned. As yes, part sir. Of the oh, please proceed. Of Your name has indeed been mentioned. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, I object to the um, uh, the presentation of. May, may I know the objection, Mr. Chair? What line? Of, what is your? Uh, what is your objection? What is your objection? I was about to state my objection, Mr. Chair, and I That's was. That's why. Uh, uh, Mark, this Michael I was let that chair uh, roll on the objection. What's your objection? Uh, my objection, Mr. Chair, is the uh, presentation of uh, this Marcolita on mentioning my names. My name that on that particular uh, uh, initial that he is uh, citing in his uh, video presentation. Oh, Mr. Chair, may I know if the no, no. Let's ask. Let's ask the resource person to explain what what yes. does HSO mean. You yes. ask the you oh. ask the no contractor. What what, what does uh, the Mr. Chair? The no, 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 no. That is my ruling. That he asked the no contractor. What does HSO mean? No, no uh, Mr. Chair. It is my name that has been mentioned. So it is not the contractor who could answer. About this representation. No, no, I know. I'm, I'm saying that uh, no. he inferred. No. He is in, inferring that the H N S H S O stands for your name. Now we will get somebody to certify or clarify what does H S O stand for and why is it in all the vehicles on the site? Yeah, Mr. Uh, Chair. Even the vehicle presentation, it is just a presentation of a vehicle. It does not indicate that that vehicle is on the side that he is referring to. That is very clear in the picture, Mr. Chair. And it immediately conclude and immediately identify that that initial uh, uh, pertains to my name. That's why I'm raising an objection that it should be straightened out of the record, Mr. Chair. Finish. Mr. Chair, may I have uh, the floor? I, I rule first before I give the floor to you. My ruling is it cannot be stricken out because it is just we have not get even been on the inquiry phase we are just determining and appreciating the allegations and the evidence and the facts so i am instructing uh ds uh, marcoleta to avoid mentioning the name as i told you 10 minutes ago of ds henry ominal please propound all questions to the resource persons to ferret out the truth sir thank you mr chair kasi 
Ang nangyayari dito, nagtatakipan. Yung contractor, sabi niya, nagrenta na lang siya. You remember, I asked him how many equipment did he transport from Luzon to Mindanao. Ang sabi niya, nagrenta. Kagatas, tinanong ko kung kanino nagrenta, may sinabi siyang contractor. Pero yung lumilitaw, Mr. Chair, ito logo ng company ng DS. Ayaw kong banggitin ang pangalan na palaging nag interrupt Okay. Mr. Chair, oh, hindi ko binabanggit ang no, pangalan mo. But there is the point that proper presentation, Mr. Chair, the vehicle presented does not indicate that it is in the site, Mr. Chair. That's why it's very incompetent also for the, the, uh, uh, the private person that is being just proceed, me, uh, Let's proceed to another oh. ano, matter. Let us not highlight the, the, the equipment. Let us not highlight the equipment anymore. Yeah, let us just forward to the next topic, sir. Okay. On the condition, Mr. Chair, na those, uh, what do you call this? Slides. No, the HSO. Initials. These initials. If, if the DS, who, is, who keeps on interrupting me, will disown that those initials are his. Will he? Will he? Will he disown those? I, 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 I think. Uh, Mister, I think the proper person to answer those are mem are people who are construct construction industry in Osamis. We need to ask people from Osamis. What? I will what, ask the contractor, Mister. Uh, it's your it's your call, sir. Okay. It's not my call, Mister. Mister. Chair, I'm continuing raising my objection because yes, the, uh, hello, the the author, Mister. Chair, is maliciously maligning already my name. Uh, the insinuation of presenting that equipment, which has no, no, no we'll basis with it or not, it if is, the equipment is no, is uh, uh, equipment is uh, a normal uh, site in Osamis or is a normal player in providing equipment, and what does uh, initial mean? No, no, Mr. Chair, he presented a picture of a vehicle, uh, and the vehicle. I mean, there are lots of vehicles. Uh, we 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 already we we already okay. We will not we will not show the pictures anymore. We will just let him uh, uh, propound these questions, okay? Oh. And it should not be on that vehicle, Mr. Chair, huh? because why 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 do you why do you ask a certain person on that particular vehicle when it is not established whether that vehicle is the one that is being rented? Uh, by the by the contractor, let, Mr. Chair. Let the resource person answer that. If he rented vehicles with initials HSO, oh, let, that should be that, the that's a good question, right? Let oh. him answer that, please. Oh, okay, please Mr. proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm beginning to feel that uh, those interruptions are really necessary. If uh, somebody would want. That the truth should not be shown. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chair, that's an, a very bad imputation to this representation. I am Let, the let's strike, I am let's strike off the record the last sentence. Yeah. Okay, please proceed, Mr. Uh, Deputy Speaker Marcoleta. May I ask, Mr. Chair, that this representation to be able to continue yes sir should not be interrupted yes i already propounded this to the honorable uh, next time ds mark ds uh, ominal if this is not in uh, a subject of your personal integrity please do not interrupt we want to have uh, if he doesn't mention your name anymore please do not interrupt uh, because it's not a matter of personal privilege so we can like I said, it, this is like a painting. The painter is always, always painting. Then somebody throws dirt from the back. It cannot. The painting cannot be finished. Mr. Chair, yes. And also in addition, can we set aside those side comments? And, and yes, just I already, focus already, on the I already stricken off the record the side comment of uh, thank yes, thank Margoleta. You. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, uh, we will proceed uninterrupted as as a uh, as a. Uh, uh, Pledged by the Honorable Orminal. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Question. Ten minutes. Question for. Okay, na. Question for uh, DPWH. Are you there? Cesar Hippon Jr., please please answer the questions of the engineer. Engineer Hippon, uh, please answer this question. 
Yes, sir. Did you authorize the district engineering office of the DPWS in Tangub City to implement and eventually supervise the construction of this project on private property? Actually, sir, I reported to work here in Tangub only last Monday. That was five days ago, uh, seven days ago. And when I came here, the project was already implemented. Adabe. Uh, we will call Carol Abinales, the previous DE, to answer this. Carol about, Abinales. Uh, Mr. Chair, is there anybody from the central office of uh, the DPWA? I think DE Carol Abinales can answer this because there's nobody from the central office. Okay. DE Carol Abinales, please, uh, please be able to answer now, please. Yes, Your Honor. Um, you authorize the DPWH in Tangub City to implement? Or I think the question is, how did you authorize and why did you authorize the implementation and eventual supervision of the construction of this uh, project in, in, Lang in Laman on a private property? Why did you allow that? Sir, uh, Your Honor, um, actually, sir, we are authorized based on GAA as, as yung napunta na sa amin yung project, sir. Um, Nandiyan na sa GAA, sir, 2019 GAA. Can you, can you please answer the question? It is very simple. Palitan natin para mas maintindihan mo. Can the DPWH allow the construction of a project on private property not owned in this particular case by the city government of Osamis? No, sir. But no, we sir. have an understanding with, with LGU that they it will acquire the land. The answer is no. Ngayon. We have an understanding with that. Ngayon pala, no sa City, sila ang mag, mag acquire sa site. If your answer is no, why did you allow the construction which is now ongoing in Barangay Laman, Osami City? Because sir, they are on the process of acquiring the land, the, the site. If they are in the process of acquiring the land, is it correct for you to have already constructed even before getting the land in the name of the local government? That is the way you execute projects in the DPWH? Kahit wala pa yung titulo, kahit wala pa sa pangalan ng local government, itatayo mo na? Ganun ba yun? Is that the rule? Sabi ng, they will provide the land. Oh, sabi ng LG user, they will provide land. So, nakita din namin doon na... Naniwala ka naman na sinabi lang, they will provide the land. Kanina pa natin sinasabi na, na, na private property ang pinagtayuan mo. Ang sagutin mo ito, dapat ba o tama ba yung ginawa ninyo na ikaw ang nag-implement, sinupervise mo pa? Samantalang wala pa sa pangalan ng city government, ang property. Kaya expropriate pa nga lang eh. Why did you do that? We believe, we believe sir, that they, they have the ownership. Ikaw ang tinatanong ko, pabayaan mo kung ano yung gusto nila. Ikaw, DPWH official. O nga, sir. Pero we are, coordinate, we are closely coordinating with the LGU, sir. Ano? We are closely coordinating with the LGU regarding the acquisition of the site. Alam ko nakikipag-coordinate ka, nakikipag-kutsaba ka nga eh. Hindi lang coordination eh. Tinatanong sa'yo, okay. From representative from uh, Office of the uh, Court Administrator, tama ba yung ginagawa nila na kahit nasa private property pa, Inexpropriate pa lang ang mga tao ay kinu-question sa korte. Actually tinayo na yung project. Tama po ba yung proses proseso na yon na uh, Mr. Representative from Oka?
Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, in response to that question, first, I hope you understand that I cannot give an opinion uh, regarding a matter that is uh, something that uh, we are not no, uh, very much uh, involved in, especially with respect to after the issuance of the writ of possession, Your Honor. Ikaw naman, hindi ka pa naman justice eh. Pag justice ka na, pwede. <laughs> the reason why you were asked May I to just appear. Uh, Yung opinion mo lang, hindi ka pa naman justice eh. Yeah. Your Honor, uh, as a former judge, Yes. Okay, po. If I will uh, be asked to answer that as a former uh, RTC judge, Your Honor, uh, I think the the possession uh, being extended already is up to the uh, not to the implementing agency to now ano uh, use in order to uh, carry out or implement its project, Your Honor. Uh, like I said earlier, a writ, uh, when an, uh, when a writ of possession is issued, uh, title is not immediately transferred to the implementing agency, but uh, with respect to uh, continuing the project, if they have possession of the property, then that's up to them, Your Honor, to implement. Kaya nga, ang sabi mo kanina, it is not synonymous to ownership. Hindi pa title yun. Kasi may title. process pa, di ba? Yes, okay. Your Honor. On that basis, sir, in the event that the residents who went to court will win their case because the expropriation was irregular, they did not go to the Office of the Solicitor General, nor the Office of the op Government Council. Suppose the residents win their case. Who will be the owners of the building? Regarding the expropriation case, Your Honor? Yes. Well, Your Honor, uh, like I said, you know, expropriation... The principal is the lot. Is the land. Yes, Your Honor. The improvement of the buildings will be accessory. Under our civil code, accessories follow the principal. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so in, in the event na nanalo yung mga residents who went to the Supreme Court to appeal this, ang magmemeari ng mga building are the private owners, is that not? Well, I think the status quo will be maintained, Your Honor, if yes, that is the case. Yes, the status quo is that the owners are the private owners, right? Yes, Your Honor. Thank but you. Koa. Koa, are you in Where Zoom? is the Koa? Andi? Koa representative. Zoom po. Nasa Zoom. Nasa Zoom po ba? Yes. Yes, sir. Is it not a fact, Mr. Koa or Ms. Koa representative? Roland. Roland Ray. Oh, Ronald. R Roland Ray, please proceed to answer. Is it not the fact that COA will start auditing the project upon payment of mobilization fee, or probably on the first billing? Your Honor, may I pass the floor to our director in Region 10? Uh, yes, sir. Pokal, please. By your means, sir, yes. Yung local auditor po, hindi ba? mag start kayo. Director Vocal, please answer. Good morning, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, I will answer the question, Your Honor. Hindi po ba nag start kayong mag-audit pagka kuminsan mobilization payment ay binigay na o kaya... It's a first billing, tama po ba? Our audit in the Commission on Audit, Your Honor, is on post-audit basis. So that uh, the payment for mobilization will reach us on post-audit, then that will be the proper time that uh, we will audit the payment. So hindi kayo nag-audit pag uh, nagkaroon ng mobilization o kaya first payment? We tama? will audit, Your Honor, once the butcher will be received by us. Kaya nga, alimbawa, yung mobilization fee o kaya first billing, Babayaran nyo na yung contractor, hindi ba? So, yo audit mo yun, tama? That is subject to our audit, Your Honor, right? But uh, we have to wait for the butchers to be submitted to us because there's nothing to be audited uh, if we don't have copy of the butcher. Your In Honor. this particular case, meron ng mobilization fee kasi ongoing na yung project, eh, hindi ba? But the butchers, Your Honor, the corresponding butcher, is still with management and uh, we have to wait for management to Submit it to us for our post audit. Are you telling me, Mr. Auditor, that the first billing or the mobilization payment nandun pa sa pino process pa lang? There's a reglementary period, Your Honor, wherein they have to submit the voucher. 
for our post audit. Hindi ko naiintindihan yung sagot mo. Yung tinatanong ko sa'yo, ay yung mobilization fee, ibig mong sabihin, hindi nyo pa na-audit, nag-start na yung project? Your Honor, if the butcher is already with us, then uh, we're going to audit that. But uh, by this time, Your Honor, I presume that there's uh, there's already audit done on that uh, payment of mobilization. So, you, presume mo, you, you presume na na-audit na. Tama lang, sapagkat... Because there's already um, partial payment, Your Honor. Progress payment already. Kaya nga, ang tinatanong ko lang naman, kapag may partial payment na mobilization, di ba ino-audit nyo naman yung payment? We will It's audit that. Play. We will audit that, Your Honor. Yes, that's right. But then, the voucher should be submitted to us. Kaya we cannot audit eh. until we can see the voucher. Until the voucher is submitted to us. And the answer is yes, we're going to audit those payments. Pakinggan mo lang payments. yung tanong, ano? Pakinggan mo lang yung tanong. Kung ano lang yung tinatanong sa'yo, yun ang sagutin mo. Yes, Your Honor. Sa kasong ito, may mobilization payment na dahil nakapag-umpisa na silang magtrabaho. Yung project, ongoing na eh. At yes, Your Honor. At mo, meron na, di ba, na mobilization. So, nag-umpisa na silang yes. mag-audit. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Hindi ba, bago ba ninyo bayaran yung, let's say, bago nyo i-audit ang mobilization, hindi ba tinignan kung, hindi ba nyo tinanong, tinignan kung ano yung status ng lupa? With your respect, Your Honor, it is not COA that will pay, but its management, it's uh, DPWH, the implementing agency that will make the payment, Your Honor. You mean the COA is not uh, also in a position to check whether the project is uh, regular? For example, yung pag, uh, pagtatayuan ay hindi pa naman sa pangalan ng city government? Kung under, pwede na sa inyo yun? Your Honor, under existing regulations, we have the opportunity to check on the legality of the transaction. Post audit. On post audit and uh, there's a regulation that... Sa makatuhid, ang ibig mo sabihin, wala kang pakialam kung saan niya itinayo, kung, kung sa gitna ng, uh, gitna ng uh, dagat niya tinayo, wala kang pakialam. Kung sa bundok niya tinayo, hindi mo pakikialaman. Basta ang importante, matapos yan, post audit. Gano'n ba ibig mo sabihin? No, Your Honor. We're going to scrutinize the supporting documents, Your Honor. Kasi itong defensive, Mr. Koa, eh. tinatanong ka lang naman, alam mo ba na itinayo yan sa private property? O, oh, ang sasabihin mo na naman, kasi post audit kami. Sa mga katuwid, hindi nyo na pakialam o hindi nyo na pinakikialaman kung saan itatayo ang project. Tama? Malalaman namin yan, Your Honor, based Kaya on the voucher, na, based on the supporting documents, Your Honor. Yun na nga eh. So malalaman mo na lang pag tapos na yung project at nalaman mo ngayon na private property pa lang pinagtayuan. Anong gagawin mo? Not necessarily, Your Honor, napagkatapos na ng project, but if the contract was uh, submitted to us for our review, then that will be, that will give us an idea that the, oh. there's something wrong in the project. Ibig mo sabihin, hindi pa kayo binigyan ng kopya ng kontrata kung yung project ay nakatayo sa private land o hindi? We have already copy of the contract, Your Honor. And uh, our auditors, they're going to review on the legal and auditorial aspects of the contract. And uh, this review of the contract on the legal and auditorial aspect was submitted to us in the regional office. And our usual procedure is to refer it to, uh, because there's a request, once there is a finding of uh, regularity, Uh, that the, the contract is above board, then Mr. we're going to... DS Marcoleta, you have overtime already. Maybe you can wind up with our questions and the next round you will be given the same opportunity. Yes, Your Honor, may I continue? Yes, please. Now, once there is already the contract, Your Honor, because it is required under existing regulations of the COA, that the contract should be submitted to us for our review. Within five days from perfection of the contract, meaning from the signing of the contract, uh, there's already meeting of the minds, then we are going to review that. But then for this transaction, Your Honor, uh, we dig that uh, considering that our auditors are not knowledgeable in the law, they are not lawyers, they are not even... Uh, low students or low graduates, 
that uh, for any defect in the contract, legally, uh, legally speaking, on legal aspect, we could not uh, we could not assure that uh, whatever findings they have are indeed are indeed right. That we will know that there are defects in the contract once they are submitted to us. But then because of that provision in the law also that uh, it, uh, everything done by a, legal, by a public official is considered uh, considered legal. Can I cut you now? Kasi ang tanong ko napakasimple lang eh. Ang sabi mo, dahil post-audit kayo, kaya hindi mo pa alam kung may chair, irregularity o hindi. The chair has already advised the uh, good deputy speaker to wind up. So he should now wind up because he has over uh, exceeded the, the, uh, his time, Mr. Chair. So he should now wind up as per your order, Mr. Chair. Reiterate my uh, order to the last question. Pwede ba, Mr. Chair? Akala ko ba usapan eh? Wala nang ganong klaseng mga comments na... No, no this order is from the chair, not from DS uh, Ominal. This is because we have five people on the line. It will it will revert back to you on the second uh, round. Yes, Mr. Chair, I'm only trying to uh, okay. stop la the... La last question. Last question. Please answer concise and to the point. Uh, Director... Uh, uh, director. Vocal. Not Kowa, Kowa. Yes, Sir, Kowa representative. Pakinggan mo lang at sagutin mo lang para mag-wind up na ako rito. I, I will uh, probably resort to a second round here. Ang sabi mo kanina, dahil sa kayo ay post audit, so hindi mo alam kung uh, private property o hindi. Pero malalaman mo rin yan kapag ka na-scrutinize ninyo yung mga documents, hindi ba ganun ang sinabi mo? Yes, Your Honor, but then not only on post-audit. Ang dami mo kasing sinasabi, tinatanong ko lang ang sagutin mo eh. Kung sakasakaling malaman mo, sapagkat dumating na yung mga contract sa'yo at pinag-aralan na ninyo, kasi yung puro ginagawa nyo, naglalagay lang kayo ng billboards up, hindi nyo naman pala alam eh. Pagkatapos na malaman mo, na pinagtayo ang pala nila ay private property sapagkat they are in the process of probably titling it in the name of the city government, anong gagawin ng COA kapag ka nalaman niya na private property pala ang pinagtayuan? Following the rules, Your Honor, uh, we will issue AOA mandate, Audit Observation Memorandum, uh, requesting management to explain, and then if their explanations are not uh, satisfactory to us, we're going to issue a notice of suspension, giving them another opportunity to further explain the deficiency. And still, if uh, their explanation is not uh, for us valid, then we're going to issue a notice of disallowance. And if there's a complaint on that, uh, we have a uh, January 30, 2020 memorandum and uh, a co-circular 2020. Mr. Koa, ang tanong ko lang sa'yo, pag nalaman mo na private property palang pinagtayuan, anong gagawin ninyo? Yan na nga, Your Honor, that we are going to issue audit observation memorandum informing management of the defects in the transaction. Oh. And afterwards... Anong gagawin mo sa project? Nakatayo na, tinatayo na. We're going to hear from them, Your Honor, their reasons. Why uh, those Anong gagawin mo sa project na nakatayo na? Uh, Alam mo, Mr. Chair, the reason why we're hearing this because this is also in aid of legislation. Yan palaging sinasabi ng COA kasi, post-audit, 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 ang daming problema. E eh, ano ngayon kung mag-issue ka ng, let's say, observation memo? E eh, ano ngayon kung mag-issue ka ng notice of disallowance? Nandyan na yung project. In the final analysis, how will you dispose the property? Sino magiging may-ari ng property? Sino, sino magtitira doon? E eh, private property nga ito eh. Ngayon mo lang makikita ngayon sapagat post-audit ka. This is the problem. I will resort to my second round, Mr. Chair. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you Mr. Director Vocal. Next to interpolate is DS Ominal, then uh, D, uh, Chairman Presley De Jesus, uh, the third. Yes, Ominal, you have 30 minutes. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, I would just ask 
um, some questions to or clarifications to the resource speaker before I'll make a manifestation on the entirety of the project. Please address the chair directly, not uh, the resource person for your questions. Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. I'm just making a preliminary yes. remarks okay. on my time, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair, um, in the um, adjudication of the evidence, uh, the chair um, cleared that um, issue number one and number two and number three, uh, trying to implead the DPWH as the office that commits the violations. Uh, I would like, therefore, to ask the DPWH, the district engineer, to explain and clarify what is this PMCE about, which was being raised by um, the author as uh, who had reported a 71% accomplishment. D. Carol Abinales, please respond to the uh, question. It should be the the Ehipona, uh, Mr. Chair, who is now the current. Uh, ah, the current, na ba? Yeah, he is now the current. District but this engineer. happened during the time of Abinales. Yeah, the, but, the, the 71%. Yeah, but this is what we call the policy of the DPWS, okay. this PMCA. This is a system Hipon, uh, which the district. D. Hipon, please uh, answer. Ipona. Yes, yes, Andrea. Uh, please, uh, uh, 76 percent. Okay. Now, this is as of May 31, 2020. Uh, this is under project 19KJ0186, uh, comprising of two, two area, which is Area one is Malaubang section and the second section is Lam'an section for a total project cost of 50 million pesos. Now, as of May 31, 2020, the accomplishment is 71.36. What was shown earlier was that it, 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 it was not a report from Kamigin, uh, from Misamis Occidental, but from Bukidnon. So I believe that first presentation was wrong. Okay. So uh, the uh, the author implies that there is uh, that the project is ghost because uh, the presentation was that there is already an accomplishment of seventy one percent before the contractor had started the project on May. So um, you were referring that this is uh, the, he was mentioning that this is PMCA generated system so yes. can you please inform this committee what is really the actual accomplishment and what is that pmca why is that pmc has reported up 71 percent no when the uh when uh accordingly it does not reflect to the actual accomplishment can you please explain that system for the uh, satisfaction of the committee members PCMA is uh, means project contract management application. Project contract management application. It is a computer generated report, and then the the accomplishment are all all uh, uh, based on projection of the per CPM. Yes, based on projection as per our prepared PC uh, prepared per CPM. And along the way, it may change based on if there be any changes in the in the project, such as variation orders or any suspension orders. Now, the seventy one point thirty six is correct, co correct, and because because based on our report as of May twenty to two thousand twenty, what 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 was reported was seventy one point thirty six. That is correct, sir. But and that that is that, that is but that is for May thirty one two thousand twenty. And that report is based on the original PERT PM, which was not yet amended because of the suspension, yes, which sir. Yes, sir. earlier mentioned, because the contractor wasn't able to start the work immediately since the lot was not yet available. Yes, sir. This is still subject to change upon approval of the operation orders suspension and suspension orders. Okay. So, um, in short, 
uh, the project is there, it is not ghost, there is no ghost payment, because uh, even if it is 71% as a system generated, but the payment that the agency has made to the contractor is uh, how much? Is it also 71% or based no, on the actual accomplishment? No, sir. As of, as of October 26, 2020, what was paid was only equivalent to 39%, sir. Which represents the actual accomplishment? Yes, sir. Only 39% as of that day. What was paid was only 39% of the total cost of the project, sir. Okay. Um, um, Mr. Um, Chair, I would like to ask um, representative of the people uh, where this particular project belongs in the city of Osamis. So I would like to um, make a presentation on the program and uh, before I will uh, um, make some uh, further clarificatory questions to the resource speakers and also to the author, uh, Mr. Chair. May I request for the presentation, uh, the slide presentation on the actual situation of the project? Mr. Uh, Chair. <laughs> Mr. Chair, he is out Mr. of Chair? order. Yes, uh, Maminel is out of order. What is your grounds? The grounds, Mr. Chair. Why is he the one presenting the project? Is he the contractor? Uh, Mr. The JPWH, if they so desire, should be the one to make a presentation, but they will ask this committee to do so. If DS Waminal is the contractor, probably, then I will allow that. But he is he the contractor, Mr. Chair? He is no personality in presenting his own project. So what is your motion, Mr. Chair? DS uh, Marcoleta? He cannot be allowed to make a presentation, can you Mr. Form Chair. That, can you translate that into a motion so I that we get that up, he, the chair can rule? It is completely uh, Mr. Chair, it is out still of my order, time. Mr. Chair, uh, uh, for DS Waminal to make a presentation considering that he is not a member, he is not an official of DPWH. This is a project entirely upon the supervision and implementation of DPWH. It has nothing to do with him. Mr. Chair, the point of order does not, when we see point of order, there is a violation of the role. No, there is no role or uh, uh, raised by this Marcolita, which serve as a basis for his point of order. There is no rule, Mr. I, Chair. I am. We are ruling on the basis of my own resolution that there are infractions considering the project in Osami City and no. the project concerns the implementation of DPWAs. So the mm -hmm. DPWAs are the ones are supposed to be the ones defending this project, not DS Waminal. DS Waminal, can you answer his uh, no, objection, his point of order? Mr. Chair, as I said, there is no role violated which serves as a basis for his point of order. And For second thing, Mr. Chair, the yeah, role, it Mr. should Chair. be allowed to... Uh, this is my time, Mr. Chair. Uh, no? DS Marcoleta, please give uh, leeway to, to explain his uh, side why he wills. I, so I, this uh, presentation. First of all, Mr. I, Chair, I, I he, should preliminary... first, he should first present the personality why he is the one presenting the project himself. Mr. Chair, I had already made a preliminary remarks, Mr. Chair, and about to continue. No, who, who is is project can, funded... can, can we stick to a question and answer phase? Because uh, this is an interpolation. So I would appreciate if we could... Uh, Proceed with the question. You can question anybody to present your case. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, as, I, as I said, um, the resolution covers in its first word as an appropriations funded by the General Appropriations Act, Mr. Chair. And this particular provision, Mr. Chair, is the project, this is local infrastructure fund on our GAA which has been proposed by the respective congressman in the different districts or party list. So this is a project funded out of the representation of this representation, Mr. Chair. So that's why I would present the project how, because I am the proponent. And then- How long is the presentation? It, it just actually, uh, it, it will not take- uh, oh no, Two um, minutes, five uh, minutes? There is uh, probably one minute, then there is another two minutes, uh, three minutes as I go along, Mr. Chair. Oh, please be informed that this is part of your 30 minutes. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, okay, please oh, proceed. Okay. Please proceed, Mr. Uh, DS, Mark, DS Ominal. 
Um, this is just a slide presentation. Mr. Chair, that is the condition of the area of the residents who are the beneficiaries of this project, Mr. Chair. And then the uh, project, uh, slide presentation too, that is the um, project, Mr. Chair, to transform the standard of living of those informal settlers in that area to this kind of project, Mr. Chair. And that, that right side building, Mr. Chair, is the one funded, that uh, first unit on the right side, that is the one funded of the 50 million allocations, portion of the 50 million, which is the 35 million. And the other one, which is in diagonal, that is uh, the phase two, which is funded by the 20% uh, development fund of the city, uh, Mr. Chair. So that the, can you please go back to the first uh, slide? Uh, the, the first slide. Okay. The residents of the area, Mr. Chair, there are about 100 beneficiaries, residents, more or less. Of this, Mr. Mr. Chair, may I make oh, a manifestation oh, oh. that this slide was taken during the height of Sendong, Typhoon Sendong? Oh. Hey, mini Mr. Mr. Chair, uh, he We're can make manifestation Mr. Chair. This, this was taken during the Typhoon Sendong, Mr. Chair, not in Laman. This is not in Laman. Uh, noted, this noted. In Laman? Uh, Mr. Noted, Chair? Uh, please do not engage. Is this in Barangay Laman? I want to ask him. Is this, is is, Barangay, is Laman? this in Al Barangay Laman? Yes, yes Mr. Chair. That is not that in Laman, is the, Mr. Chair. Uh, and, uh, I, I should, will ask residents. Uh, uh, please listen, uh, please do not engage they one another and ask the Chair this. directly your questions. Mr. Yeah. Chair, this is slide is misrepresenting and, and he is misleading this court, uh, this, this committee. This is not in Laman. This uh, is somewhere else, maybe Malaubang, but this was taken at the height of Typhoon Sendong, um, which is five years ago. Five years ago. Do not put us drawings here. You can put up the drawings here. This is not because, the way. Please, uh, please uh, note DS Marcoleta. Please proceed. Uh, this ominal, you have already consumed 12 minutes of your time. Uh, um, Mr. Chair, so this is the site of the Laman housing project. This right side, Mr. Chair, there are about 100 more or less residents in the area. And of the 100 residents, only uh, currently only two opposes in the expropriation, uh, what we call, uh, in the original negotiation with the local government, Mr. Chair. The concept of the program is that the national government through the DPWH will fund the building and the land shall be the counterpart of the local government unit. So it's the local government, that's why it's the local government that handles the expropriation, Mr. Chair. And of the residents, uh, of, uh, the residents are the beneficiaries so that when the DPWH started the construction, the residents voluntarily um, dismantled their houses and then turned over it to the local government. That's why the contractor only made the clearing operations. And that is why, Mr. Chair, in the uh, adjudication of evidence with the author, he cannot mention who are those residents who are affected or who are complaining. Because practically, Mr. Chair, that's why the government was able to immediately start the project after the negotiation, because the residents voluntarily, there is only one Mr. Chair, which is the client of the author, the Neri family. And the Neri family, until now, the house is not yet demolished. Can you please show the picture of the uh, Neri family? But anyway, um, and Mr. Chair, the one which was presented by the Ismar Kulita, the one with Bakko and the one who's shouting, are not, that is not the site which the buildings 
I have been contracted now. I have been uh, constructed. That is actually on the opposite side. And that particular incident, Mr. Chair, the one shouting there are, are not the residents of that particular building because that particular house that was already vacated by the owner because um, Mr. Um, uh, Mrs. Regina uh, Garcines because the rate, uh, the there was already a rate of position um, issued by the court, and the owner had um, complied, no, respectfully complied with the rate of position. So um, the one that was shouting there are, is not really the residents. It was a fake. Uh, voice your owner of the Neri family because that particular house is adjacent or uh, close to that Neri family, which is the, the end of the author, which I said, there is, uh, the house is not yet demolished until at present. Mr. Chair, um, the resolution calls for illegal demolition. As manifested by the local government of Osami City, there is no illegal demolition because it's the owners that temporarily uh, that dismantle their houses after they have been paid and settled by the government by the local government and then uh, because after the completion of the project they will have to be um to return the area because they are the beneficiaries that is why we are now raising an issue on who are the complainants because until now the author has not um, has not uh, uh, informed this uh, body on who are the complainants so that we could have asked the complainants if they, they have really houses which are being demolished because the issue of the resolution is illegal demolition and harassment. No, So um, we, we, with that, Mr. Chair, that's why we are, um, we are protesting that particular video protest, uh, presentation. No? which has um, that one which uh, uh, which showed that there are people shouting a uh, scary voice in the process of the clearing on that particular area. And again, that particular um, house is not yet part of the um, area where the ongoing construction uh, of the projects. Now, um, So that um, I, I maintain your honor, no? <laughs> I, I, I would like also to mention, because in the opening statement of the author, that this, there is that 15 million, part of the 50 million, which is also part of the Malaobang uh, project, that he was insinuating that the implementation of the project is not in accordance with the law because it is a public land. Um, we maintain, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, that the government projects should always be in the public land, on the government land. Uh, that is why um, when it is a private land, it has to be purchased by the government and in the absence of, or if there is a failure of the negotiation, the government has to resort to expropriation. I would also take exemption on the manifestation of the author, although it is not part supposedly of the resolution, but he had mentioned of that house bill that I filed converting that particular property in Malaobang into an alienable um, uh, alienable uh, uh, into alienable uh, for the use of uh, commercial and uh, private uh, purposes. I would uh, move Mr. Chair that it should be a strict in part of the record because it is not part of this, uh, uh, it's not part of the resolution. It is not German to the subject matter of this resolution. And it is, I believe, an intrusion 
no, to the right of this representation to file bill which he believe is for the best interest of his district. Mr. Chair, no? I and, thought he was going to make a presentation of the project uh, only. He's already uh, controverting what I have already asked. From the, it, it, from the it, is his, it is his time. It is his 30 minutes. Now he has only 10 minutes. So, And his interruption was deducted in that 10 minutes, Mr. Chair? Not yet. We will deduct it. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. No. So, um, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, manifest, Mr. Chair, that that should be deleted because that is not part. And I feel um, maliciously um, uh, maligned with that particular can um, we, presentation, can Mr. We Chair. That, Mr. Because Chair? I'm not making any malicious accusation here. No, Mr. Chair, that is still my time, Mr. Chair. No. Can we strike from the record what he is trying to allude to me, Mr. Chair? I'm not making any malicious accusation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I will rule after uh, you you give me a little uh, airtime. If you are keep on debating each other, I cannot rule on the two to request first ano on the uh, DSA ominal since it is ominal Mr. Chair ominal since this is not in the resolution the the third project let us limit to the Laman project yeah that's why Mr. yes yes I rule on that favor yeah that that, that is uh, Laman yeah, that, building one and two yes Mr. Chair that's why yeah uh, I am Mr. Chair part of my manifestation I, I that I should be stricken on the record the chair yes that the project includes the third project for example in, so in, in, are you saying this is part of one contract yes it's no. part of one contract the contract is this what 19 kj 0186 yes what is the construction of multi-purpose building open and close parenthesis housing project cluster one with and two site development so in Laman and in the, the, the other barangay. The multi-purpose are two types of building. These are condo types com comprising of two buildings. And the cluster is in Maluubang. So it is encompassed in one title only. This ah. is the contract. That okay. is why I, uh, then I why stand to be corrected. Correct. If this is one contract, one government project, one allocation in the GAA, then this is part of the hearing. Mr. Chair. The only question, Mr. Uh, Chair, uh, uh, is the that, funding. That is not my point, Mr. Chair, that, that, that I want to be stricken out of the record. What I want to be stricken out of the record was part of his presentation of the house bill that I filed, converting that particular area into uh, an alienable property, Mr. Chair. What that are you the saying? The, 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 pre the press conference? The No, no, Mr. Chair. He was mentioning about the bill that I filed currently and he was even insinuating if i made a disclosure it is premature to rule on that because we haven't we we we, we cannot rule on that yet because we haven't heard the facts of that particular case this is just a one sentence allegation of one of the eight no um yeah it, the, it's, not part it, of, it's not part of the eight mr chair it's not part of the eight yeah he was just mentioning about the house bill which I am making, the house bill that I filed, 8095, Mr. Chair, this is a separate house bill, no, which is not part of the agenda. This is not part of the resolution. Mr. Chair, the, uh, he, he was, the cluster housing, Mr. Chair, was built on a public land. Yes. And belatedly, he filed. Y yes, I, I remember. I, re I remember. Uh, let me. To remedy the situation, yes. Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know, I heard. Because. That particular public land is inalienable. It is not disposable. So he wanted to remedy this by filing a bill. The title of his bill M is Mr. Chair, seeking, this is still my time. Seeking to reconvert. No, that, that is not my intention, Mr. I'm Chair. I'm making a point of he, order. No, and your point he of order is not German to the subject matter of the case. Stop. Uh, two minutes suspension. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 